Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have a delicious recipe for you all for these crispy potato and refried bean tacos. And these came out so, so good and they were so delicious. I am so excited to share this recipe with you all. I was inspired by a recipe I saw from my friend Ashley, Eat Figs Not Pigs. She made these delicious looking crispy potato tacos and I knew right away I needed something like that. So these are really great. They have a spicy vegan ranch dip to go with it. And I think these are so fun and they're actually really cute because they're mini because I use the mini street taco style tortillas and I think you guys are just really really going to like them as always the full written out recipe is on my blog with a printable version of the recipe as well there's a link down below for that you can also find the full ingredients list written out in the description box down below as well as links to potential things I think you may need for this recipe there's also a link for my cookbook plantiful if you haven't gotten your copy yet and there's also a link to listen to my new podcast vegan thoughts so with all of that being said let's get into the recipe so first we're gonna boil some little baby potatoes. These are the yellow Dutch potatoes. I just like these ones. The skin's really thin, so you don't need to peel them. So cover them with enough water and then boil these for 30 minutes or until fork tender. In the meantime, you're gonna take half a cup of vegan yogurt. I'm using the one from Kite Hill. And then you can add in about a tablespoon of non-dairy milk. Make sure it's unsweetened, unflavored, so you don't end up with anything weird tasting. Then you're going to add in your seasonings and just Plop those in there. You have a bunch of different seasonings to add in. If you don't want to make this spicy, you can leave out the chili powder and the hot sauce. And the hot sauce, you can just do to your preference. I did probably about two teaspoons in total. And then just mix it up until it is all well incorporated. And that's pretty much it. Just give it a little taste and then you can adjust any, you know, seasonings or whatever. I wanted it spicier, so I put in more hot sauce, just gave it one final mix. And then you're just gonna pop this in the fridge. This is so delicious and just let it chill until you're ready to use it. So now let's make our refried beans. Make sure they are vegetarian or vegan friendly. Like these are the only ingredients in them. You can use pinto refried beans or black bean refried beans, whichever you like. We're gonna add in chili powder, garlic powder, and onion powder. I'm not adding in any salt because these were salty enough for me, but if you want more salt, you can add in a little bit of salt. It's totally up to your preference. Just mix it all together until everything is well incorporated. So now our potatoes are done. So let's mash them up. You're going to add in about three tablespoons of non-dairy milk, a tablespoon of vegan butter, and a little bit of salt, about a quarter teaspoon. And now you know what to do. We just got to mash it up. If you don't have a potato masher, they are so cheap. And I didn't use one for years and it makes such a difference. I'll have the one that I use linked down below. So just mash until it's smooth enough. Like I said, I don't mind the skins, but if it's going to bother you, then you can peel the potatoes at a time. So these are the tacos that we're using. How cute the little tortillas, the mini street taco tortillas. Microwave these for about 30 seconds so they're warm so they don't like rip when you fold them over. And then you're going to take one of your little tortillas you're going to scoop about two tablespoons of the mashed potatoes spread it on one side of the tortilla and then you're going to scoop about one and a half tablespoons of the refried beans and spread it on the other half of the tortilla very easy this is a great activity to help get your kids involved in if you want if they want to help you cook fold it over in half and that's all you have to do it's very very simple and easy to make and just kind of give it a good press so it's sealed but since these are both like sticky tacky things it stays shut pretty well and you'll make eight little tacos and now we can pan fry these so take a tablespoon of vegetable oil pop it in a nice big pan roll it around the pan so it's coated evenly then pop in your tacos i did four at a time and you're just going to pan fry these for about two minutes over a medium heat or until they are golden brown and you'll see oh that bubbly goodness i love these and these don't feel very oily or heavy because it's not that much oil really per taco give it a flip and then pan fry for about one more minute that one was a little paler in comparison to the other guys must have been a cooler spot in the pan but no big deal and you know just let them cook pan fry them for the additional minute until they are nice and golden on the other side and then you can just remove them from the pan and then repeat with the other remaining four tacos so add in another tablespoon of the oil and then you will just pan fry these and that's it that's all you have to do and now they are done beautiful beautiful plate of crispy potato tacos garnish it with some lime wedges and pieces you can pop on some cilantro i'm actually using parsley because i hate cilantro but in theory you'd want to use cilantro and then i have my spicy ranch chip on the side and then i just drizzled a bunch of hot sauce on top and that's pretty much it now they are done they are so good when they come out of the pan like that crispy oh my goodness they are just Oh, they're delicious and I think you will really, really enjoy them. And that dip just pairs perfectly and adds so much like flavor and goodness and that squeeze of the lime juice. Oh my goodness, these are these are amazing.
All right, everyone, and those are our delicious crispy potato and refried bean tacos. I really hope you tried them out. They were so good. I cannot wait to make them again. They were just so, so delicious and so satisfying, and I think you all will really, really enjoy them. If you do to try them out, please be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know how it goes. Tag me on Instagram. Send me a message on Instagram. I just really love to hear back and see your recreations. If you like my videos, you already know, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Helps channel out, helps us to grow and spread more vegan recipes. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye. Thank you.